Welcome to Programming with Dart, Fundamentals. Dart is the programming language for Flutter, a cross-platform development framework from Google that has taken the mobile world by storm. With Flutter, you can use a single code base to build apps for iOS, Android, the web, and even the desktop and beyond. Dart was first released by Google in 2011 and was initially designed as a replacement for JavaScript. The purpose was, in part, to create a type-safe JavaScript for building web apps, similar to the increasingly popular TypeScript variant of JavaScript from Microsoft. The most recent version of Dart at the time of this recording is 2.4. Dart has many similarities to other languages you may already be familiar with, such as Java, c -sharp, Swift, and Kotlin. Dart is statically typed, which means types must be specified at compile time and cannot change at runtime. Dart facilitates both an object-oriented style of programming as well as a functional style. Dart has modern features such as type inference and the embedding of expressions within strings, called string interpolation or string templates in other languages. Even though it's statically typed, Dart also has a feature that mimics dynamically typed languages such as JavaScript or Python, and that can help you get up to speed with it if you're coming from those languages. Dart can still be used for building web apps, but it's not really taken off as a JavaScript replacement for web app development. However, there's been a resurgence in interest in Dart since the release of the first betas of Flutter. Flutter 1.0 was released in December of 2018, and mobile developers especially are diving into Flutter and Dart to see if they in fact provide the holy grail for cross-platform development. Flutter and Dart have a number of aspects in their favor when compared to other cross-platform tools. For example, the promise of native app-like performance. In addition, Flutter is the development kit for Fuchsia, an experimental operating system under development at Google. Fuchsia might someday power many classes of devices, so getting a leg up on Flutter and Dart development would give you a head start on creating software for such future theoretical devices. You can learn more about Fuchsia at fuchsia.dev. When coming across Flutter and Dart, Many experienced developers wonder why Google did not use a language for Flutter like Kotlin, which is the current language of choice for Android development. There are a multitude of possible reasons, but one pragmatic one is that Dart features both just-in-time and ahead-of-time compilation. This means that Dart code produces fast and efficient native executables on multiple platforms, and also allows for a feature named hot reloading, where a code change can be reflected in a running app without a full rebuild of the project. Hot reloading gives you as a developer more real-time feedback on how code changes affect your application. This course on Dart fundamentals is modeled after our Programming in Swift course. However, the Swift course is designed for people brand new to programming, and so carefully introduces introductory programming concepts such as variables and loops. This course will go a bit faster than the Swift course, an attempt to strike a balance between providing Dart instruction for both beginning and experienced developers. If you're an experienced mobile developer familiar with Swift, Kotlin, or Java, and looking to quickly pick up the syntax and idioms of basic Dart, then this course is for you. Experienced developers should be able to quickly breeze through the course and be ready to work with Dart to build Flutter apps. If you're brand new to programming, you'll still be able to learn Dart fundamentals by watching the course, but you may want to watch the Programming in Swift course first in order to get up to speed on the basics of programming. We'll start this course by reviewing core programming concepts in Dart, such as variables, data types, and operators. We'll then run through control flow in Dart code using conditionals and loops. Next, we'll look at how to create functions in Dart, including anonymous functions and closures. We'll then see the Dart collection types list, set, and map. We'll finish the course by discussing how to create your own custom types in Dart using classes, and also see how to use abstract classes and interfaces. Understanding these topics will have you ready to dive right into Flutter development with Dart. When developing Flutter apps, you first install the Flutter SDK, which will usually also include the Dart SDK, with which you can compile and run Dart code locally on your machine. However, for the purposes of this course, you can use the DartPad web editor to write and run your Dart code. Let's get started in the next video by seeing how to use DartPad.